Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all doing well out there. A couple of key points that I wanted to go through in today's video. And the first one was a little bit of background on me as a full-time reseller. Sort of how I got here to talk about it on YouTube and do it as a full-time job. Uh, so I've had this YouTube channel now for about three or four months and I've put up about 50 videos in a very short space of time. But I realized I've never actually given you guys any background into how I got here. So hopefully you get some value out of me going into those insights today. The second one as well that I wanted to talk about was what I've learned over the last three months as a full-time reseller. So it's great as a side hustle, but when you actually convert it to being a full-time job, what are the lessons that you learn along the way? Hopefully that might resonate with a few of you that are full-time, and if you're not full-time, these lessons might be good to hear before you try and get into it. And the third thing that I want to talk about today as well is some 2021 goals. I'm already thinking about some grand plans for next year. I think it could be a really great year for the business and, and growing it and scaling it to a place uh, where it can be a really good sustainable success. So I wanted to start today with five key goals that I have for next year. And hopefully it can inspire you guys to start thinking about some grand plans for next year for yourself. So let's get into it. The first topic I'm going to talk about today is a little bit of background on me. So let's get into it. So some brief background on me, uh, I've spent the last 10 years working in the sporting industry in a sales type role. Uh, I've worked for three AFL teams, which is our major sports uh, code here in Australia, equivalent to kind of like the NFL over in America. Uh, and I've also spent two years living in Canada as well. So uh, that was in the MLS, working with the Vancouver Whitecaps. But I've spent a bit of time here, there and everywhere, really. I was living in Perth, I was living in Melbourne, I was living in Canada. And when the coronavirus hit in March, I was working for a sports team in Melbourne and I needed to get out of there quick because the coronavirus had hit and it wasn't a great place to be. In the end, I relocated back to the Gold Coast and uh, I've been here for the last three or four months, living with my parents, rent free, which has been very, very fortunate. Um, and it's allowed me to focus 100% on growing the business. But I really do think all my background in sales has really been able to translate really, really well to doing a pretty good job in the early stages at reselling. So I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I'm enjoying the fact that I can continue in that sales type role that I've always had. But um, you know, after five years away, I'm really just happy to be back here on the Gold Coast and to be actually doing something completely different. I've never done anything like this before and I'm really trying to document the entire journey from start to success um, in, in reselling on YouTube. So it's, it's a, been a whole heap of fun. It's a whole heap of work as I'll touch on in a few of the lessons I've learned along the way. But um, that was my background. It was sort of traveling around, experiencing the world, working in sports teams, uh, right around the world and within Australia. And um, now I'm back home and I'm 100% focused on making reselling my full-time job and being my own boss because I think that's a pretty cool thing. So I know a lot of people will resonate in the sense of a work difference, um, you know, in the sense of losing their job or having something change within their job that's probably made them focus on reselling a little bit more this year. And uh, it's certainly been the case for me. I'm just trying to take it to the extreme and make it my full-time job. So um, today I thought I'd just touch on that. Um, I also wanted to touch on the lessons, which I'm gonna get into now, about what I've learned over the last three to four months of doing it full-time. And uh, hopefully you guys can, I guess, take a little bit out of those lessons, um, you know, if you are trying to do what I'm doing and, uh, and be a full-time reseller yourself. So let's get into those lessons that I've learned along the way. One really big lesson for me is that it is so vitally important to set up a working routine that works for you. And then once you've got that set up is to remain incredibly disciplined and accountable to yourself to make sure that you're carrying out what you said you were gonna do at the beginning of the week. You know, I've, I've spent a bit of time, I don't think you need to create that routine as fast as you can. I think you need to constantly work away at it until you've got it into a position where it is very efficient and you know exactly what you need to do when on a weekly basis. You've got to be your own boss and you've really got to be on top of yourself to making sure that you're getting everything done correctly and on time. You know, this, there's so much to do, there's so many balls in the air with this game and if you don't have sort of a blueprint about how your week looks, I think you can ultimately, you know, get yourself frazzled and get yourself caught up in not knowing exactly what to do when. But if you can find that working routine and then have the discipline to stick to that, I think that's been a really big takeaway for me and I've really been able to see my stress levels lessen but also my sales results increase by having that rock solid routine and game plan each and every day and each and every week. So establish it and then have the discipline to stick to it. 
The next thing that I've learned is there is a lot of hours to this game. It is really a 24-7, 365 type arrangement. There is always something to do and you're in it by yourself. It can get pretty lonely. You know, you don't have your workmates around you like you normally would. You don't go out for lunch with them. You don't banter around the office with them like you used to. It is a very different world, I've realized. And if you're not that sort of person that can kind of handle working for yourself and being by yourself, uh, you might really battle early on, maybe even in just adjusting to the process of, of doing it literally all on your own back. Um, you know, every single task is up to you to complete to get the successful result at the end of the day. You don't have anyone else to rely on. And that could be a really daunting feeling when you've never had or been in that environment before. I've certainly had a bit of a shock to the system with it. I've really enjoyed my co-workers in the past in other workplaces that I've been in. And I guess I've battled a little bit with the loneliness side of it, but there is a great reselling community out there and I've been reaching out to them and speaking to those great people and they've been a really great help. But you are your own boss, you're doing a hell of a lot of hours and you're doing it by yourself. So it's just something to keep in mind. If you are working out there, you know, in a great job and reselling is a bit of a side hustle for you, maybe that's something you should just continue to leave it as is because when you go to full time, you lose that awesome workplace that you had originally and it's now all up to you. I've also learned that you need to have an unwavering amount of patience. It takes a long time to build a successful business. If you think it's all just gonna happen overnight and you're gonna get rich quick, you're gonna be rudely mistaken. It takes a long time to build the inventory base that you need. It takes a long time to list those items. And then obviously to get the sales to trickle in at the point of where you need it to be for it to be a sustainable full-time job. It does take time. And if you don't go in knowing that it's gonna be a 12, 24, 36 month exercise to get it to a place where you need it to be, you're gonna suffer. So go in, have an unwavering amount of patience from the very beginning and stick to the little things to make the big picture work. I've also learned that it's really important to remain consistent with your listings every single day. As a full-time reseller, I'm currently trying to list 10 items onto eBay every day and cross-list them onto Facebook Marketplace. It's a lot of work, but what I have noticed over the last month of listing every single day, a minimum of 10 items, my sales numbers have really spiked on eBay, so I know that it does work. And I think if you're gonna be accountable to yourself and making sure that you're listing 10 items a day and the quality items that you've been able to source, you're gonna see your sales numbers increase. It's gonna go a long way to making your business more of a success than it was otherwise. So make sure that you're consistent with your listings. It's been a huge takeaway for me over the last month. And the last point that I've taken away from all of this is that you are constantly learning in the game of reselling. It never ends. And you're gonna make mistakes as well. You're never gonna get it 100% correct. But as long as you learn from those mistakes, you're gonna go a long way to being a successful reseller. I think if you constantly open yourself up to think about different niche categories to get into, learn different products and what those products are worth, you're gonna make yourself a better reseller in the long run. I've certainly seen by putting time and effort into learning a new category that I can now go into an op shop and pick out items that I would never have normally gone after. And I've been able to make a few dollars as a result of it. So if that can just you know, maintain over the next few months, I can see myself having a really well-rounded knowledge of what every little item might sell for. And that's gonna go a long way for me to be able to source better and sell my items for more profit. Because I'm gonna buy them at a better price, I'm gonna buy the right item, and then I'm gonna sell it for what it's actually worth on eBay. So you're constantly learning, you're constantly evolving, you're constantly having that growth mindset. And I think that's a very important part to being a very good reseller. So they are my five key lessons that I've learned over the last few months as a full-time reseller. Let me know what your key lessons that you've learned are over the years in the comments below. I really do love to hear it and I'd love to know your thoughts. So whack them in the comments. I wanted to get through my top five business goals for next year as well. I've put a lot of time and effort into this. I'm gonna only list out the top five. There's a lot of mini goals that fall under these that I've written out as well. But in today's episode, I just wanted to highlight the top five to get you guys thinking about what potentially your goals might be for the 20. 21 year and just like the lessons that you've learned let me know in the comments below as well what might one of your goals be for next year um, let's kick it off with my first goal i'm going to start it on a monetary side of things i want to hit hundred and twenty thousand dollars in gross sales it might sound like a large number some of you might think that it's a relatively small number but to me i think it's an achievable long-reaching goal from where i'm currently at at the moment i'm currently doing between five to six thousand dollars every single month and if I'm gonna hit 120,000 overall next year, I'm gonna to need to average $10,000 a month, 
right from the start of 2021. So it's gonna be a lot of work to get it from where I'm currently at to that 120,000 goal by the end of next year. But I really do think it's achievable. When you break it out, it works out to be about $2,300 every single month. And right now I'm sitting on around 13 to $1,400 average. So I'm gonna to need to do almost double what I'm currently doing now over the entirety of next year. So there's a lot of work there, but I really do like, like putting out goals that are quite far reaching. And then if even if you get, you know, even if I got 100,000, I'd be really happy. But the goal is to hit 120,000, $10,000 in sales average per month. Um, the next goal that I've got for you as well is that I really wanna monetize this YouTube channel that I'm working on. I'm gonna to continue to do three videos every single week, but I'm not far away from hitting 1,000 hours, uh, sorry, 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. And for those of you who aren't on YouTube, when you hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you get paid Google AdSense revenue for having ads on your videos. Now, for me as a full-time reseller, that would actually supplement any money that I can earn from that would supplement what I earn from reselling. And it's going to go a long way to making me have a sustainable, full-time, successful reselling business. So as much as I love communicating out to you guys with all the advice, tips, knowledge, the fun of the trip to the thrifts and letting you know what my sales results are, there's a really bigger picture there as well of trying to get this channel monetized to earn a few dollars as well. And I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So I really don't want to stop. I want to continue to cre keep creating content and keep putting videos out to you on a weekly basis because I've absolutely loved joining in on this community of resellers that do YouTube out there because they are really great people and I wanna remain a part of that. So I really wanna place a large focus on YouTube next year and I really don't wanna change things from what I'm currently doing now. Three videos a week, but remain consistent with it for the entirety of next year and put 150 videos out as well as obviously getting it monetized, which should be in the early parts of next year. Uh, another goal as well is I really want to develop relationships with wholesalers. I think at the moment for me, I'm really sourcing through only a couple of different avenues. I'm going out to thrift stores, op shops, I'm going to garage sales, I'm going to car boot sales, I'm doing a bit of retail arbitrage here and there, but what I'm doing is I'm just picking one or two items. I'm not really buying bulk. And I think to buy bulk is a great way to start fast tracking your sales results. So. I don't have any contacts or I don't have any supplies out there in any sort of niche or category, but I'm really gonna try and start to network more in 2021 to really find those, I guess, opportunities out there, those connections, those people that can start to provide me with opportunities of buying bulk inventory at once to then list those items up onto eBay and kind of get the sales just continually tick over without having to need to list every single individual item that I pick up. It's gonna save time, it's obviously gonna be very more efficient and it's gonna obviously put more money in my pocket at a faster rate. So a lot of time and effort will be put into developing relationships with wholesalers and make a few deals next year and hopefully learn from any mistakes along the way, but just actually give it a go and see what happens. Um, I really wanna move out of home in early 2021. So it might not sound like a business goal, but if the business goals are being ticked off, it allows me to get out of home. And you know, I love being home. I love being around mum and dad. It's been five years since I've been around them, but I'd really like to fend for myself. I'd like to start paying rent somewhere, um, continue with this business as the only source of income that I have. And I think by having YouTube clip into that as well and providing a bit of source of income, I might in the early stages of next year be able to move out of home and fend for myself. It'd be a really great achievement to be able to one, work for myself, but also to fend for myself, uh, obviously so early on in setting this thing up. So fingers crossed that happens early next year. Um, I'd love to not have a part-time job and just pay the rent with uh, with this business and the income that I can get from it, while also not taking away from reinvesting back into the business because that's so important. Um, so I wanna maintain evolving and growing the business at the rate that I am, but also be able to have enough money to, to survive as well out there in the real world. Um, and then the last one as well is I wanna secure a low cost local storage unit to house this evolving stock that I'm buying. You know, I've got grand plans to source a heap of items next year and around mum and dad's place or even the place that I'll move out into, I just simply don't think there's gonna be enough room to store the numbers of inventory that I have in my head. Uh, with the wholesale coming into it next year, uh, I'm gonna to need to have some form of storage unit and I really wanna be able to source a very low cost local storage unit to get the job done. So that's gonna be my fifth goal for next year as well is to try and have that set up. 
And along the way, just like monetizing YouTube, I really wanna document every single step of the way for you guys out there to hopefully inspire you to do the exact same thing if you want to. If you wanna be a full-time reseller, I wanna be the channel that you can watch to say, hey, well look, this guy's putting in the effort to get the job done, I can too. So that's why I'm doing this YouTube channel is to try and help you out there and inspire you out there to give this a go and give it a red hot crack because I think it is a very cool job to get into and it's a very cool thing to do. And it obviously takes a lot of hard work and effort. And I think the rewards from that can be huge. So that's everything, they're my goals. That's a bit of background on me and obviously the lessons that I've learned in reselling over the last couple of months being full time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a lot of sort of personal dump. Um, me just putting out my thoughts, um, but uh, Anyway, I thought I'd put it out there as a video for today for you guys to get into. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, look forward to catching you in the next episode. We're tripping to the thrift on Thursday, which is always my favorite episode of the week. So hopefully you can join me for that. But thanks very much for tuning into this one. We'll see you in the next. Bye.